for this? No. So yesterday I had my first chemo treatment. Um, Monday morning I had my port put in. It's gonna look worse than it actually is, but it's right there. That's the way they can administer chemo without problems. They can take my blood without problems um, before, before treatments. Um, I had a lot of anxiety leading up to having the first treatment, and I think a lot of it's more because of the port was still very sore. Um, port Trisha. Port Trisha was very sore. She was getting acclimated to my body, um, but it wasn't bad. The chemo nurses are amazing. Um, and so what I have going on is they have two hard hitting chemos um, that I'm going to be getting. Um, it, the round of chemo, or the chemo that I'm getting is called AC plus T. And so I'm getting the first two, the A and the C, for um, at the same time for every two weeks for four times. So up until the month of Ju or the end of July, I will be getting that. Um, after I have that round, Sorry to all my friends that are currently texting me while I'm doing this. Um, what they do is they put this on me. This is Nulasta. The two chemo drugs that I'm going to be on are uh, going to plummet my white blood cells. Um, and then this is going to help produce them. So that way my body is strong enough to keep taking the chemo and we can kill the cancer and keep it from regrowing. Um, in August, we'll start Taxil, which is the T part of this and um, they will go in and uh, I, I, it does kind of the same things as all the other ones do and uh, they did say that at that point in time I'll start feeling a little bit more like myself um, but over the next two months I'll be I will not have an immune system I'll be extremely immune compromised and so we are going to definitely be social distancing from everything at this point in time up until at least August and depends on what whole COVID thing is doing. Which was um, highly recommended from every nurse we spoke to was they yeah. were like stay away, stay, stay away, away from stay people. Away. Which is really kind of funny because her arm uh, I light up. drum it, it flashes <laughs> like if she keeps it there for a second there'll be a, there'll be a green flash that happens. I look like a lightning bug. Which is really great at nighttime when you're trying to keep track of your wife. I recommend every husband get one for their wife. Yeah. Um, she would not do the bell around the neck uh, so we figured this was the next best option to go with yeah well it comes off tonight so it comes, it yeah. comes off tonight so this is administered 27 hours after having chemo um, but I'm so. pretty sure I'll be able to spot you tonight uh, radioactive I don't know the white head oh yes with these two drugs my hair will come off it's not a matter of if it's a matter of when and from some of the ladies that spoke with me in the chemotherapy room yesterday they said within the first couple of days their hair started coming out um, and we're going to go ahead and shave my head tonight against the great idea of driving with the top down in the Jeep um, one of the things that was recommended to us from the doctors and the nurses is that we go ahead and shave it so that when it falls out it's small little hairs and not massive large clumps and also because what's happening is is the chemo is kind of burning the hair follicles underneath that it can actually not be the most comfortable thing when the hair starts to come out so by doing this we'll make it a little a little more comfortable for her and I can tell I can I'm glad that I'm making this oh I'm not glad but I'm comfortable with my decision to go ahead and cut it off now because my youngest just braided my hair for the last time uh, until it grows back out again and while she was doing it my head was really sensitive um, I do not have a sensitive head I have a very hard head so uh, you what? <laughs> for the record she just submitted she's hard headed <laughs> well now I'm really sensitive <laughs> she's a sensitive hard head yeah so a lot of people have asked I have two major questions today a lot of them is, is um, or the two questions I've had today are have baby goats been born? No, we're still waiting on that. And two, how am I feeling today? Today I'm feeling tired and run down. I've been able to stay on top of my nausea, um, which is good. 
Uh, fun fact is apparently fenugreek does not make me sleepy. Uh, it does the opposite. So it knocks out my nausea and it keeps me wide awake. So that's kind of cool. I'm jealous. Yeah. So, um, so that's good. Um, I am having to force myself to eat. I do not want to eat. Um, food is very unappealing uh, right now. Um, I've been told I'll lose my taste buds. I don't know when that will be. Will those grow back too? They'll come back after chemo. That's what they're supposed to do. That's what everybody said. So, um, yeah. So, um, but two, uh, a lot of requests. Uh, we're going to have to film. Got to film the hair coming off. We decided that. Uh, well, it's something we want to document. We'll look back on this and be glad that we did it. And laugh. We're, so, we will find out today. Um, one, does my wife have a good shaped head? It's perfect. My dad said it was. Yes. Yes. Two, will it be blinding white because her hair is so thick? Probably. It blots out the sun. Call me Cotton. Cotton. Remember, was that that kid that had the... I don't know. Was that movie? And three, how angry she's going to get when I go for her eyebrows first. We're not doing the eyebrows. Okay, so just the two. <laughs> just the two. But we appreciate everybody's love and support. Uh, this is not an easy thing for any of us to go through. Um, me as a husband, I feel defenseless. There's, I want to fix, beat up, do something to make this better. And there's really nothing I can do except just support um, all the text messages and everything. You are not annoying us. Uh, it is great to hear from people. It is great to hear your concerns and your questions, and we have no problem at all sharing that. Um, so please continue uh, uh, the text. If you call, if you miss your call, we'll call you back. Um, but just know that um, the support is awesome. Yeah. It is really awesome to have. Um, and then I want to say after, uh, after I'm going to need to go to the rest of the treatment plan. That's what I want to do. So, I think this is when, it reali when I realized everything was very daunting, is finding out that I'm gonna have chemotherapy up until Halloween. This is as long as everything's going according to plan, and no one is projecting this to not go according to plan. I have a really good prognosis. The doctor doesn't see anything on anything on the, my, all my, all my labs and everything that would not have me on the other side of this healed. So that's what we're going with. Um, but I'll have chemo until October, the end of October. After that, I'll have a four week break. And then after that, I will have surgery. Um, I will be opting for a double mastectomy. Um, that's the only thing I know for sure at this point in time. It will lower my chances of my breast cancer coming back by 90%. And that's a really good, um, really good odds there and, and the surgeon has already said that uh, she will have a mastectomy so uh, yeah I'm not an option I, I am NOT a candidate to save any breast tissue whatsoever on my left side um, it is all cancerous um, and so and then I'll have surgery and then they'll give me about a four-week break and then I will have six weeks of radiation five days a week and then after that, it's endocrine therapy for five years. And that's as long as everything's going according to plan. Um, still no word yet, because I did go to the genetic counselor to see if I have the gene mutation. Um, I only have a 5% chance of even have a gene mutation. So th th at that point in time, breast cancer came from an environmental factor. And- The Memphis VA. And so we just, we can't, it's a, you're not gonna be able to figure out environmental. I mean, it's a, it's a hole that you just don't wanna go down at that point in time. So, ready? I'm not ready. I love my hair. It's my one physical attribute I've been complimented on my entire life and it's gonna be gone. So. <laughs> we can still save it. You can pet it when you're lonely. Right. I'm not an accessories lady, so I guess I'm going to be. So. so we do want to point out very little gray 
So we will see if that holds out when um, oh, it gonna, starts yeah. growing back. I do have a fair amount of gray under here, but you can't really see it. So, so I guess at this point, once it's all gone and it comes back, see what it looks like when it comes back, right? Yeah. One day at a time. I know. One day at a time. All right. Well, now we're going to jump to the uh, head shaving. Are we ready? No. And now. No. No. Snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Okay, real quick. I would just like to start off by saying, with hey, Greg, we have a Twinkie. This is what you would look like in case you decided to grow your hair long. And Uncle Cole, you're welcome. This would be you if your plan were to work out. This is not a look for mama though. <laughs>
Yeah. It's okay. You gotta do it to you him. Sit there and grin and like hold it right to your face. I would never do such a thing. I was like, hey, you're beautiful. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> I would just like to say this. You have a beautiful forehead. <laughs> that that means a lot coming from you. Is it awkward when I do this? <laughs> there you go. Okay, I love you. I'm back.